This tutorial is on using the templates that Dreamweaver provides you with to get great web designs. So under the file new, you come up under blank page here, you come up with a whole heap of different templates. All of these are really well designed templates, of course you shouldn't be using them exactly as is, you should be changing them a fair amount to get an original website. Uh, for example, I like the three column elastic with a header and footer, so if I go create here, and what I want to do first of all is preview it to make sure that it suits my needs. So I'm going to preview it in Safari. Save it first of all as contacts. Hit save. Now what I'd like is, yep, so no matter what resolution it stays on here. So if I have a giant wide screen, and this is something I'm concerned about because I have a wide screen. It looks the same as if I have a small computer. For example, my husband has a netbook, so websites look very bad on his on his um, his computer. So that's what I want. Now, what I also want to do is change some of the colors and layouts by editing the cascading style sheet. So in this is CS4. If you've got CS3, you should be able to go straight over here, um, up here. If you don't have that, then you need to show CSS styles under window. In CS4, sometimes you get the style sheet, but not this stuff here. So what you can do then is go down here to where it says edit CSS and you get that coming up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select what I want to edit. So I'm going to select the header here and I'm going to add a property. And what I want to change is the background color. So I'm going to select a colour and I'm going to select it on the Dreamweaver Green. Beautiful. Now, if I select the sides here, again, add property, background colour, and I can go up here and select exactly the same colour. And same thing again here. Background colour, select. Now that's a good start to my website. Now I can also do things like I can add in my content here or my navigation. So I'm going to have home, about us, I've got contacts and I might have a store, I might have some donate money, I need coffee, we all know I love my coffee and whatever else you want. Now you might notice that there are some problems there with the spacing out things. You can either add, there are some CSS you can change, or you can add some spacer images, whatever you think might work there. Now you can also do things like in the other stuff, you can add images. Now an alternative way to add images, aside from what I showed you before, is if you've got them set up in your site already, so here I have my alien picture, you've already got that in your site, then you can just click and drag it across to wherever you want it to go. Again, I'm going to put in the alt tag because it's important for people that don't use images or people that use screen readers on their screen. And again, in this case, I'm going to resize this, but I would be better off doing that in Photoshop because otherwise it's going to download the whole image here. And that's it. You can also, if you want, underneath um, the images here, you can change the alignment with text and do th different things.